hello guys welcome to another tutorial with ivy so in today's video i'll be showing how you can create a simple photo slide effect just like this using your canva app on canva go to custom size then impute 1920 by 1080 then click ok once you're here go to upload to upload your materials which you will be working with after uploading all your needed materials, you can now click on each of it to start working with it. Here I stretch the materials to cover the screen. Then once this is done, you click on the three dash day to increase the border weight to about this size. You can keep it at 50. Once that is done, you click on the square shape where you have color to change the color from black to white. And you're done with the face material. You click on add page to repeat the same process to the next materials. You do this until you've exhausted all your materials you have to work on. Once done, to download your material, click on share, then you go to a download for your materials to be downloaded to your phone gallery. Next day, you go back to your Canva on page, then click on video. Then click on upload to upload the image you've just designed or arranged back to your Canva app. Next, go to element, then type in wood to select a, a wood background for your video. Okay, so select the particular wooden background, then you right click it, then click on set image as background to set it as a background image. So next is for us to start arranging our pictures. So you go back to your upload then you pick each image at a time then animate it as you want so to do this you click on once you bring in the image you click highlight it then you click on edit photo go to shadow go to glow then you can increase the size to about 41 then you can also work on the blow to about 30 something then every other thing is set okay so once you're here the next thing you want to do is for you to animate your work so you click on the image then you click on animate so on animation you scroll down to your baseline yeah, under baseline, you can decide on the direction where you want the picture to come in from. Then you swap from both to unentered. Then you can as well work on the speed to what you want. So with this, we are done with the first page. So to get the second page, you right click, then you click on duplicate. So once you're here, you click on the image there. You click on the animation to remove animation. Then you go back to your upload to bring in your second image. So here you click on the image, go to edit photo, then shadow, then click on glow. You also increase the size and also reduce the blow amount. So with this is done. Next, you go to animation, then you go down to baseline. Then this time around, you can take it all the increase the speed, direction of the increase the speed, and that is done. So once that is done, you click on the image, then you turn this to something like this. Okay, so you have that, and this is it. Done. 
then you move to page three repeat the whole process as in page one and two till you've exhausted your whole image you have for this project Once you're done with the whole arrangement, click on the share button, then give download. Now, this time around, make sure it is in MP4 video format, then hit on the download button, and your video will be downloaded to your gallery. So, final stage go back to your Canva home page, then click on video. Here in video, go back to your upload to upload your video that you just downloaded. So you click on upload, then you select the video, then you click on open, then your video is here. So you click on the video for you to be added to your project. Once the video is here, you right click it. Then go to where you have said video as background. Then, but that is done. Okay. So next, you go on element. Then you type overlay. Okay, so you go to video, then you see different overlays, so you can select from any of this. So once you see the one you like, you click on it and it will be added to your project. Then you make sure it you stretch it to fit into the whole screen. Next, click on transparency, then you reduce the transparency from Andre. To about 40 or 20 something something like this and this, this is done and this is good okay so if you play these you're going to have something like this and this is nice you can also add audio to your video by going to elements then you scroll down way to where you have audio then you can at the search bar you can type in any video any music of your choice then once that is done you can just click on it and it will be automatically added to your video so guys this is how this video is done and this is the end of this so if you find this whole process exciting thrilling and educating please do well to subscribe to my channel please drop a like and a comment on this video and please make sure to turn on your bell notification to receive updates on my next video thank you thank you so much see you in my next video